chapter one stress uh, we want to observe a factor of safety concept in in a design load so let's see how that goes so this example is is a review of of factor of safety con concept in in a design load uh, category so let's see how it goes so we do have a rigid beam bcd that's b c d uh -huh. attached by bolts to a control rod that's our control rod at b and are also to a hydraulic cylinder at c so that's a hydraulic cylinder and also it's a, to a fixed also attached to a fixed support at at d that's all a fixed support at d mm -hmm. The diameters of the bolts are provided. D diameter B and D are identical to each other with a diameter of 3 over 8 inches. Diameter of C is a half, a half of inches. All the bolts act in double shear and are from steel. With the ultimate shearing stress of tau U is equal to 40 kilopound square inches. The control rod is also has a diameter of 7 over 16 inches and also is from a steel with a tensile stress sigma of 60 ksi. If the factor of safety for the entire system considered to be uh, 3 for the entire system, we want to determine the largest upward force that can be applied to the hydraulic cylinder at C. So we want to know what is the maximum per se C. If C stands with the force of C, we want to know what is the maximum C. C max is equal to what? Let's see how we can uh, approach this problem. This is a very interesting problem also. If we do know that C is 6 inch from the B and 8 inch from the fixed support D. This is our cylinder at C and at A we do have a control rod which shows in red. Huh? At the same time the problem statement says we says we already know all these uh, three are in double shear so that's double shear let's see how that goes that's a joint at both at b is in double shear both at c is also in double shear and both at d at the fixed support is also in double shear so both uh, all three all the of the bolts all the bolts are are in double shear condition and if we already know from the problem statement that the diameter of each bolt is provided D and B are identical to each other 3 over 8 inches and cylinder at C the bolt at the, which connect the cylinder to the uh, rod is, is goes by diameter of C and that's a half of inch so let's see the very first step do you remember the very first step in uh, the problem with this kind of category is drawing a nice free body diagram so based on free body diagram of the main part which is the rod if we take out the rod uh, take the rod out and and draw the free body diagram for the main part that says we do have a force which applies at this control rod we do have a downward force at D and we want to know what the maximum C upward C is which apply to the cylinder so if you by free body diagram we mean if you develop the moment equation about point D for example goes zero it just gives you a B times 14 B times 14 6 plus 8 minus C times 8 
minus c times 8 goes 0 and that gives us the first equation which says force at c and just in case we just shows v uh, f uh, c capital stands for force at c so and uh, the same for others so c is equal to 1 and 1.75 b it means force of c is equal to 1.75 times force of b the same if we call this equation one and if we do the same for uh, summation of moment about point b goes zero it just gives us the second equation which just says is equal to uh, 2.33 times t mm -hmm. we get two equation one and two and then what and then bolts and control control rod are from a steel do you remember from problem a statement that says all of them are from uh, uh, made from a steel and also diameter at a is 6 over 16 inches and for, for a steel we do know uh, normal failure goes by 60 ksi from problem statement tau failure goes by 40 ksi and factor of safety for the entire system is is provided to be three so in that case if we have factor of safety for the entire system that says sigma allowable for control rod we are talking about control rod that says sigma failure which is sigma failure 60 for steel over factor of safety for if for entire system is three for control rod is three as well so 60 ksi over three that's 20 ksi Mm -hmm. for control rod and then the double shear force in control rod the allowable shear uh, the allowable force in control rod is says a force at control rod which applies to b b capital stand for force that's a sigma allowable times area so that's 20 ksi times a one over four uh, f uh, pi over four a quarter of pi times six seven over 16 inches in parentheses a square and that says b just the b is equal to a 3.01 kilopounds mm -hmm. and if we know b is 3.01 kilopounds using equation one which is c is equal to 1.75 b the largest permitted value for of c is 1.75 b due to equation one due to equation one it just says the that's a, a that's our condition and that's the largest permitted value that's a c force of c is 1.75 times b and if you replace the numeric value of B from the top here, B is 3.01 kilopounds times 1.75. It just gives you C is equal 5.25, uh, 27 kilopounds. That's, let's say that's per se, that's our C1. Mm -hmm. Let's say what else do we have? So this time, if we observe the bolt at B, so bolt at b is also we already observed the control rod itself so we are starting from one side goes by all the elements so the other one is a bolt at b which is tau f is provided to be tau failure is 40 ksi and at the same time if you take the uh, pin b out and that's also in double shear that says a B force at control rod applied to the pin so that's a equal to 2 times F bond due to uh, effect of double shear so let's see how that goes so tau failure tau allowable is a tau failure of a factor of safety which is tau failure is 40 ksi which is provided of a factor of safety that's 13.33 ksi mm -hmm. and we already know from problem statement that's all all the bolts are in double shear so by double shear it means b force at pin is is a 2f1 
so how that goes that say b is equal to 2 of 2 times f1 due to double shear effect and that's 2 times tau allowable times the area that's 2 tau allowable replaced from the top which is 13.33 a quarter of pi times 3 over 8 inches which is the diameter mm -hmm. and if you do so the mass gives you 2.94 kilopounds for force at at uh, p and b or, bo or both b and we also know from one that c is equal to 1.75 times b mm -hmm. so again it gives us a c is equal to 5.15 kilopounds let's call it also c2 so far we calculate two of two possibilities for for force at cylinder we want to know what is the maximum upward force at c c maximum so far we can't be two c so far two possibilities for c let's see what else do we have let's go for both at d which is identical to uh, uh, both at at d which is identical to b so that's d the force is equal to 2.94 which because it's identical to that one and it just says uh, based on equation 2c is equal to 2.33 d from free body diagram if you remember that's force at c is 2.32 33 times 2.94 kilopounds and that gives us a third possibility is for c that's let's call that a a c3 per se and that gives us a c is equal to 6.85 kilopounds we are looking for the maximum uh, c possible this is the third possibility for c and the last one is definitely goes for the bolt at c itself so that says bolt at c is also in double shear and that's again the same procedure tau acceptable or allowable is tau failure our factor of safety for entire system that's three and tau failure is 40 ksi and it just gives you tau allowable 13.33 and c is two of of what this time we do have 1.2 uh, and a, a half of inch for the diameter and this time says the upward force of c is equal to 2 f2 and that's due to the nature of double shear so that says 2 times tau allowable times area area of both c which is a 2 times 13.33 times pi over 4 times half of inch in bracket uh, in parentheses squared and that gives us the the last possibility for for upward force of c that's c4 we want to again know what c max is and so far we came with four possibilities for up maximum upward force of c and in terms of design so so far we have calculated four separate maximum values for c satisfying all these goes by the minimum c so that says design force at c at the cylinder so the maximum upward force applied c maximum is the minimum of the four possibilities that's the, the how the design goes we want to be in a safe zone so the minimum of those values which we already calculated of four possibilities for for a, a upward force at cylinder so that goes by minimum of m so c design it just goes by a 5.5 which is the minimum value of the four possibilities of c and that was an interesting example of application of a uh, factor of safety in in also in in double shear in in a stress concept in chapter one thank you